So I'm gonna break down the effect I'm talking about first of all, and then tell you how they did it, and then show you how to do it in After Effects in my way of doing it. So pretty much, here, let's take a look at it. There's kind of a lot of layers to this effect. There's, if you look fast, right, he points uh, the AK. Then you have these hearts flashing, right? The person who also edited this, um, I forgot who it was, but he also added a, like a, a glitter or a sprinkle, what is this, like a star? A star overlay to each of the, sh of the shots. So you see it right here, like a glitter star. And then he also added flashes, so it looks like the gun is shooting, correct? Um, and I'll show you how to do both of that. He also added like a plop sound effect. And then that's how you, that's pretty much the full effect. So the reason I'm breaking it down for you is because the way I am doing it, um, I couldn't find a video of someone holding an AK sideways. They're always pointing at the camera. So I brought a picture of AK and then here's the animation I made of it. You know, it's moving stay, uh, whatever. Okay, so I also have a muzzle flash I have here. Right, and it looks like this. That's I'm gonna put it on the AK, and then I have my smile, smiley that I'm gonna use, which is what's gonna be flying around the screen. Okay, so to start off this animation, I'll have a pack in the description down below with the muzzle flash and the smiley I'm using. If you want to have more smileys, just look up you know uh, Google smiley PNG or you know whatever ice cream PNG and plop effect oh that's another thing too i forgot the plop effect i have i don't have the plop effect but it's like every youtuber uses it you can just youtube plop free plop effect i'm using it with a ding effect just because that's what i have on my computer right now okay so so like i was saying let's continue to the tutorial uh here's my bell effect that i didn't show you here's what it sounds like right Ooh, that's kind of loud but okay that those are the things i'm doing you can also use them like it, like it's always use them with your thing use them with your overlays use them with your muzzle flash which i'll have the mu muzzle flash in the description so here let's take off all of this stuff first and then look at our clip all right so here's our ak right all right it just moves up and down so for the first thing we want to start doing is with the muzzle flash and what that is is it's this one and the link in the description, it's, um, you should have this. It's just a continuous muzzle flash. So there's a bunch of them together. I'm going to keep it like this just so I like it like that. But if you want, let's say, um, just a single muzzle flash, you can just cut it, you know, cut the clip by uh, pressing Shift FD, go to the end of the muzzle flash, and then maybe even the smoke. And then I'm just dragging it, but you can also do... Uh, go keyframe by keyframe just before the muzzle flash shift FD again and then delete these two and then you should have a single muzzle flash but I like the continuous so I'm gonna keep the continuous so you have your muzzle flash on top of your clip right that's the most top thing on top of your clip right now but then there's these black it's, there's a black image behind it to get rid of that you just want to right click on your muzzle flash click on blending mode and click add and then you have there's no black clip anymore so if i add like a new solid like a purple put that at the bottom you have the ak and the muzzle flash right here just to prove there's no black so i'm gonna keep that just so we can actually see what's going on so now we need to rotate this since it's on backwards there's two ways to do it you can just click this and then drag this or you can right click uh tra transform and then flip horizontal right there so now what you need to do is you need to keyframe your muzzle flash to your AK. Right now, the muzzle flash is kind of big for the AK itself. So I'm going to just uh, grab this end right here, hold shift, and then move it down a little bit. And then the muzzle flash will turn like that. Now in the video, they did the, the way they did a muzzle flash, it was actually glowing. It was very bright. I'll show you how to do that later, but right now we just want to animate the muzzle flash. So for the first at least like two seconds, it doesn't do anything, right? The, the gun. And we want the muzzle flash to follow the gun. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on position with the muzzle flash and then keyframe it by clicking this little icon right here, keyframe that. And then once the video goes, the AK starts moving. We're just gonna move it up right here to right here, and then we're gonna we're gonna click keep clicking this, and then click R, and then keyframe this as well, and then move it about 
a certain angle. So now if you look at the clip, you have to move this up here. No, wait, go back now. You have to move this up here and then move this like that. And then a little bit more up. Okay, like that. And then all the way back down to here. So I'm going to go drag this back down here and then move this rotation about right there. And so if you look at the clip, it should look, you know, something like that, which is kind of decently, especially if it's fast. No one's going to notice if you mess it up a little bit. Okay, so now we have the muzzle flash. Um, the way they did the glowing effects, uh, I don't know which way they did it, but here's a way to do it. You can just type in glow, right? And then I like to use sapphire glow, but you can use this glow. Um, I'm just going to use sapphire glow, so put that on my muzzle flash. Let me find it. Okay. Uh, brightness, I'm going to bring that all the way up. So if you look at it right now, it's like not even existent. Okay, here, let me bring it uh, all the way up. Okay, glow width, I'm going to bring that out right here. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit better than it was, glow width. How about like that? Okay. And then now we have the whole image doing that, which we don't want. So I'm going to bring the width down. Actually, I'm going to bring the brightness down a little bit so we don't have the whole down a little bit. Okay, glow width, bring that down. Boom, and then now we look kind of similar to the video of how they did it. Okay, and then so now we need to do is we need to animate the smileys that go with it. So I'm just going to open up my smiley. And then it, this is just all dependent on the size you want it to be. Um, in the video, they had different sizes, but I'm going to make it about this, you know, uh, this way. Yeah, this uh, this way, this size. And then go to the beginning again. I'm going to look for the shot, my first shot, which is right here. And I'm going to make a marker. So I'm just going to drag this right here. And then I'm going to look for my second shot, which is right here. Make another marker. Third. And then you just want to go to your shots and then keep doing the same thing. One, two, three. Four. Two, three. Or where's the next one? I guess it was just four. But okay, so we have four. That's more than four. Okay, one two three four i guess that's four okay so each shot i'm gonna need a smiley to come out the the gun correct so i'm gonna make this about that big and then what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna move my smiley or i'm gonna cut the clip or i like to move it and so it begins to where the first shot is and then at the second shot it, it depends, it's all your creativity. You can have this smiley off screen by the second shot, or you can have it halfway the screen. So what they did in the video is, I believe they did like a halfway screen or they did a lot of them at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, at the, I want the smiley to be off the screen by, you know, when it points down, so right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click P again on my keyboard, keyframe the position. I'm gonna move this to the beginning because I forgot to do that. Go to the end and then just drag this to wherever I want. And then since he shot kind of in right here in the middle, right, bullets go straight. So I'm going to move this to right here. So if you look at the animation now, we'll have a smiley moving across the screen, right? And so now what we need to do is we need to highlight the smiley, press Control D, and then we're, it's pretty much the same. It's going to be the same animation, same keyframe. But now we're going to move this here. I forgot. Hold on, go this. We're going to move this to the second keyframe. So now if we look at it, we'll have boom, boom, two smileys, right? And that kind of goes together, except um, this starts tilting up a little bit. So what we can do is, since we're at the beginning of the clip and we moved it to the second keyframe, we can move this position up to about right here. And what this would do, it'll actually go to the beginning of the clip. What I did in there is I kind of rotated it, or I moved that up so it does kind of a curve effect to it you, you saw in the video if you looked at the video closely um, a lot of the bullets did this they kind of curved 
when the gun moved and curved and went to the same position. So that's another thing too. Also, um, yeah, that's it. I don't know what's supposed to be. Okay, one, two. And then, so I'm going to keep it like that because I kind of like that. And then, so we do the same thing for the next one. We highlight the smiley, the second smiley this time. Press Control D. And we'll just drag this to the third keyframe that we made, or marker, sorry. And then we'll move this position, make sure it cursors in the beginning, and we'll move this position to about right here. And then we'll have it end at the same place. And then if we look at it again, we'll have those we have smileys moving across the screen. And then we have one more right here. Just go pick the third smiley, control D. It'll copy it, move that to the fourth one and then move the position to about right here. And let's say I want it to go this way, like a curve again. I'm just gonna change it like this. Okay, so now if you look at the whole animation, we'll have smileys moving across the screen. And that's, we're almost done with the effect, but that's pretty much the effect. So now what we need to do is, with this effect, there's a lot of sound effects that go with it. So like I said, we need to go back to my sound effect, put this on, and then and you put that. I don't have the pop effect, but like I said before, you can just YouTube the pop effect and then, and you know, instead of this bell, just, you know, replace with the pop effect. So I'm going to open this up to see the waveform. Um, I don't need half of this clip, so I'm just going to cut it and then delete the rest of it. I could just need this beginning part, which is pretty good. So then now, since this, since the sound is in the beginning part, I don't really need to cut anything. I just need to sync the sound with the markers because that's where the shot is so i'm going to just move this to here press Control d make sure your bell is on and then move the second one to the second marker which is right here Control d again third marker Control d again and then fourth marker so now if you look at it it'll go right and then you'll have the effect now there's one thing he added, he added the sparkle effect. Now, I can add that to the same thing, but I don't really like that. Um, that's just your preference. I mean, I guess you can add any other overlay, but he also added the sparkle overlay to it. So, yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials. Like and comment. If you have, if you have suggestions, if you have comments, questions, leave them down in the comments. I usually answer a lot of comments, you know, especially if you know, they're saying something. Um, so, yeah, peace out later.